But when you are doing a targeted preparation for GATE or competitive examinations like that, you need to be smart there. Now, what you need to do there is, let, let me tell you how I did it. I just took a printout of uh, GATE syllabus, okay. And you will feel like, okay, what is this to do with your preparation? Okay, I'll tell you what. When you take the printout of the syllabus, then you will ex exactly have an idea that what topics are there and what are useless that I was working on, clearly. So I took that and I pasted it in front of me and I was looking at all the topics. This is the topic, this is the topic, this is the topic, this, 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 in control system. So I saw all the topic one by one and I went in the reverse way. Instead of going in the forward way, I mean like taking the book, sitting 30 days and studying one subject, I went opposite way. Okay, I, what I did is I saw the topic. Okay, this is the topic. Let's say it is state space. So you went to st state space to study that. And you study the concept, you see the example problem given in the book, you make a short note. Let's say state space is five pages, okay. Don't write all those five pages in your copy. What is this? You're just copying the book. This is not what is needed, okay. So out of that five pages, figure out what is important. Some formula which is important, some concept that you might miss out, or some important term that you should note it down. So five page, make it in five line, crunch. That is how I used to do it. I just used to find out the crunch of those five pages or that topic. I used to write it within five lines and very small, okay. I made a copy of 60 pages and my target was I have to finish the entire BTEC syllabus in this 60 pages, not more than that. And there are so many subjects to study. So I used to finish every subject one by one, topic by topic and make a short notes in four to five pages. Four to five, both side. I mean, like, I'm not saying one side, okay. So four to five pages on the both side, okay. So eight to nine pages and the subject is done. Then you will realize, okay, I see this subject as very, very big, but then this is not that big after all. There are only these concepts that I'm missing on. These are the things that I forget. Rest all I do remember, and these are the things that I should look on whenever I am preparing on uh, for that subject. So. This gave me more confidence that whenever I have to revise that subject, I don't have to go through every single 600, 700 pages of that book. I just have to go to this, my, this copy of mine and I have to revise from 8 to 9 pages. That's it.